Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News and this is a little bit of a special one for me. This is my 100th review, or video I should say on my YouTube channel and that's pretty big for me because I didn't ever think I'd really get there. I didn't know what ales to review or how to review them or whatnot. but here's 100. So probably maybe 100 more after this. We'll, we'll see. Um, I got a special ale to do. This is George Gale's Prize Old Ale. There we go. You can see that. Hopefully the lighting's alright. Hopefully this will get it open. This is a cork, a cork ale. This is the last year they've corked this ale. This is 2005 bottle. And um, this was the last year they made this because George Gale & Co. Limited was bought by Fuller Smith & Turner and since that point in time I do believe anyway they have a slightly different style of a bottle because Fuller still brews this ale and they use bottle caps and not corks this comes in at 9.3% alcohol by volume or 9% rather it's a big old boy uh, this was a prize ale brewed labeled and corked by George, ale, or George Gale & Company Limited in Homedean, 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 England. This ale should be always stored. Temperatures at, you know, whatever. Whatever you can do, you can do, you know. And it's, it's because it's corked, if you guys have any of these, make sure they're laying on their sides if you're going to keep them on there for a long time. But they're bottle conditioned, so before you actually drink them, make sure you store them upright for a day or two so they can let the sediment settle. Uh, this is room temperature. I keep these uh, most English ales, I keep them in my cupboard out in the living room on display. Uh, and apparently this has been a, a champion beer award winning prize old ale, maybe that's why they call it from uh, 92 and 93 they won first prize, so that's excellent. It looks very sleek, very sexy, I do enjoy, uh, this uh, looks so just traditional, I'm really happy about this, hopefully this is awesome. I love really traditional looking ales and whatnot. But that's my experience. This is the reason why I'm doing it. And now, more forward to get to the beer. Now, you're probably going to see me fight with this. It might be entertaining. Look at that. See? Look off. It might be entertaining. It might be a pain in the ass. Let's see. Got that broken off. Alright. <coughs> hey! There it is, and there is the cork. I'm not trying. I'm trying not to bang around too much, but whoa. let's see if we can use this bad boy to open this bad boy. The bad boy has been opened. Opened. The ice man comes. There we go. Just left a little bit in there. Very, very little. I wanted to get most of this in. No head to this at all. Very dark cut, uh, uh, ruby. Very dark, and there's ruby hints of light coming through. No head. Big old aged ale, though, so you kind of expect that. Almost a wine looking quality to it. Especially with the color, actually. It looks very whiny with the, with the light and whatnot. And very vinous and wine like on the aroma. This is actually very port like in the smell. Nice bit of roasted caramel flavors. Rich dark grapes, dark fruits. You get that port quality of that uh, alcohol content in the nose. There's a bit of alcohol lacing. It's hard to see, but you can see how that just kind of this clear liquid clings to the sides of the glass. Chocolate like rum soaked chocolates you're getting, a lot of that nice cocoa 
mixed with the rum smell, like chocolate soaked cherries, I should say. Very almost like a Tootsie, like a cherry Tootsie Pop, actually, a little, little Tootsie Roll, rather, I should say, that kind of chocolate quality. This is enjoyable on the nose. Raisins, different, different dark fruits. This is, oh. I hope I like this. <laughs> I hope I don't screw this review up. What a what a joy. Cheers. Dark and broodies. Dark and broody. Subtle. You get that nice waft of alcohol. That wine quality I was talking, it's in the, it's in a little bit in the taste. It's definitely burn, nice burn, alcohol burn. Like you're drinking a very lovely wine. And on the front, you get all those roasted caramel notes, all this little choke, a little bit of big cocoa, all in the front. Very, it's it's yeah. It has like a pepperiness, a spicy pepperiness to it, with the with the alcohol content. It's got a very peppery flavor and aroma. Look at that roast, almost almost the brown sugar quality to it. This is definitely an aged, aged ale. I mean, but the thing is, like with some ales, you still have head retention, still have carbonation, still have this. This is just dank and dark, broody, no carbonation at all. You're basically like drinking. It, I would, someone could give me this and say this was aged from 1895 and not 2005, and I would believe them because that's how dark and historic it tastes. It tastes, you know, really, 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 really murky. It's lifeless, but with all this character, it's interesting. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, and you get that kind of, that Tootsie Roll kind of a quality on the burp. That cocoa coming through. Very broody. This is a lovely, dark, broody ale just sit back and enjoy just one off just kick back and enjoy it's really excellent um, this is my hundredth review again and I really appreciate all you guys commenting subscribing giving my giving your info all these things and I try to you know hopefully I could do a pretty good job of commenting back letting you guys know I appreciate you um, this is a really really nice broody ale Very acquired, though. Um, I don't think it would be for everybody. But it, it's very relaxing. Very easy to drink because of the carbonation being very dead, indeed. You just sip it back like wine, enjoy life. This one's gonna get in. <laughs> this one's gonna get us because of its age. I'd like to taste a fresh one and see how they compare. But this is a, a nice, it's sitting pretty heavy right now in my stomach. Um, it's very complex, and I do appreciate that. But it's, it's very vinous, it's very port quality and stuff. So, I want to give it a 9. But there's a couple of things that I've, I've noticed about it. I think it's really good though. So I'm gonna give it an 8.5 for the aged version. Um, again, I would like to taste it fresh. But uh, this is very, very good. And if you see anything, excuse me, this bottle style is unique to this 
era. So if you see this bottle style, definitely pick it up. Because you might even be getting a, a, a more aged one, which is nice. So I would definitely love to see that review if you guys post one. So this has been Paul from PA Brew News with my 100th review or video with the George Gales old prize old ale. And now I just feel all mellow and stuff. So that's excellent. These are some of the ales that I just pulled out that I was really enjoying. So you guys can see some of the ones that I've reviewed that I, I really liked. So it's been Paul from PA Brew News again. Cheers.